going on guys? My name is Joey Biagas and I'm an audio engineer and musician of a few years now. And today I'm going to show you how to sequence in Audacity. So let's get to it. All right, so let's sequence in Audacity. Now that's a pretty general loose term and there's several ways to show how to sequence in Audacity. But I'm going to show you the most popular way, which is uh, basically just layering more than one tracks or, or recording multiple tracks uh, because that's the most uh, popular and basically useful way to sequence in Audacity. All right, so let's go ahead and dive right into this. Obviously open up your Audacity. I have a brand new one, brand new session open here. And you're gonna wanna make sure your preferences are selected first correctly before we start recording. So cruise up to the top left-hand corner to click on Audacity, go down to preferences. And here's gonna open up this window and under devices, which is by default, we're gonna cruise down to recording. Now from here we can select device and you just wanna select your audio interface or if you're using the uh, built-in that's on the computer, such as on Mac, built-in input, select according to what you're using. Pretty simple, right? Straightforward. That's pretty much it to what, um, what I had to say. Uh, as far as device playback, you want to make sure that is correct as well. Uh, for the most cases, uh, it's going to be the same thing as your audio interface or, of course, built-in output. Uh, for me, it's going to be built-in output just because of uh, my setup that I have here going to record this tutorial. But anyway, let's go ahead and cruise down to the bottom right-hand corner and we're going to hit OK. Okay, so now we're pretty much good to go. All we have to do is hit record. Now. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of fair warning. Um, I am actually recording on an eight input audio interface. So I can put eight inputs all at the same time. Now I'm only recording one input, which is on my input four on my interface. Now I know this may seem a little confusing, but just kind of stick with me here. Now, like I said, the fourth input. So uh, once I hit record on Audacity, it's not gonna record what I'm saying or what I'm speaking into the microphone unless I have the fourth channel selected. So up here in this um, upper portion next to the Profire 2626 um, pull down menu, you have your uh, channels to choose from. Now, like I said, I'm the fourth one. So if I only select number one, then the fourth input is not going to be recorded. That means I'm going to be I'm going to miss what I'm recording with my microphone. So I guess just a little bit of uh, advice to you guys: if you do have an input, um, an audio interface that has more than one inputs, you just want to take that into consideration. Um, so there you go. So let's go ahead and select four, and let's hit O. Uh, okay, let's hit record. A. B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, now that's just a simple, simple, uh, simple recording of obviously the alphabet. And I just wanted to show that as an example. And now let's go ahead and layer on top of that so we can really create uh, this, this sequence here. Now, as you notice, you can see four tracks because like, like I said before, if you don't select the number of tracks, it's not gonna record them. But when you do select the number of tracks, it's gonna record all of the tracks. So since we are only using just one track, let's go ahead and delete the rest of these because we don't really need them and they're just kind of in the way they're in there and just so we can simplify things and make things a lot easier. Let's go ahead and close and X these out. All right, great. Now let's go ahead and hear a playback before we, um, before we overdub and and record another track on top of this. So let's just hear playback and I'm gonna hit it. I'm gonna hit space. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Okay, pretty simple, right? Simple and easy. Now, like I said, we're gonna layer on top of this and I'm gonna record another track and I'm just gonna do my numbers. Why not? That's more fitting. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. A, one, B, two, C, three, D, four, E, five, F, six, G, seven. Perfect, perfect. So let's go ahead and hit space again and hear the playback of that. A, one, B, two, C, three, D, four, E, five, F, six, G, seven. 
Perfect. There you go. And like I said before, we can close these other tracks out just so we don't get confused and we can really see clearly and easily what we're recording. And this is a sequence, guys. This is a sequence. It's basically building upon itself and recording more than one track. So with that being said, this is an example. So of course, obviously in you know, maybe in your session, you're making a song or, or something like that. Obviously, you're going to be recording drums first and then maybe like the bass guitar next and maybe some uh, rhythm guitar and then lead guitar and so on and so on. But that's the basic concept of getting your tracks in and sequencing inside of Audacity. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it and how to sequence in Audacity. If you do have any other questions, please let us know. But thank you for watching.